Listen up, cat <laughs> lovers. There's a brand new place to grab a cup of coffee and some kitten cuddles in West Hollywood. Very sweet. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live at Crumbs and Whiskers with a preview. Tina? Yeah, I am very fortunate to be able to get this assignment this morning. I had to throw a cat pun in there. This place, if you look, take a look at it. It's just a gorgeous place to come and hang out on giant cat beds to take some pictures with these little kittens for social media. But you can also know that by coming here, you're doing a good job for these animals because these are all animals that don't have a home. Elaine is with me. She works here. So for some people, they might know that there was a cat cafe in Los Angeles for the last couple of years. Those were all adult cats. You've now changed things over for the summer. Talk about the kitten lounge and how exciting it is to have this new thing. <laughs> So um, it's very exciting. Um, so I was hired like mid to late April, and we were still um, having like more of the adult cats. But now it's just it's, and I mean I love them too. But it's so exciting to be able to be a part of that transition, especially during kitten season, and have all these like precious kittens. There's 21 of them right now. Um, there's like a and, pretty. And you were, I mean, these are kittens that if they didn't get adopted, if you didn't come in, they might be at risk of being euthanized. But tell me about how special they are, because you've been playing with them this morning. They have a lot of personality, <laughs> don't they? Yeah. Yes, they do. There's quite a few kitties that are like very hyper and you can already kind of tell their personalities and like how they're going to be around guests and how they are with the other cats. A lot of them are actually siblings or bonded pairs. So it's really nice that they like have like a little buddy to come in with and that they're not lonely. So. And how fun is it to see people come in and be able to play with cats and kittens? I mean, sometimes they can't have them in their own home. So for them, this is like their one chance, right? Oh, it's so nice. And what I love seeing is um, when tourists come in and they're like doing the whole LA experience and they come in here and you know we chat about like where they're from they're like oh well I came in here because I really I'm missing my cats I'm homesick for my cats and I'm like oh like well you're in the perfect spot so um and I think that'll be really fun for people this summer like as they're vacationing to you know have this time with kittens and just be on these giant like beds and everything it's gonna be so fun so we're very since opening you've already taken home a couple cats <laughs> are you gonna let these kittens be adopted by other people or are you gonna try to steal them yourself Oh, I would love to take all of them home, but my mother said I can't have any more cats because um, I'm I understand. <laughs> well, that's no. okay. that's okay. I think there are a lot of people who are going to love these and come. Hopefully, they were saying actually, Demarco and Suzanne, that it would be great if they could just put themselves out of by out of business by getting all of these cats adopted, and then they'd have to close down. That'd be a great thing for them. But I have a feeling that there is more kittens that they'll be able to get. So, it's opening officially tomorrow, you can either get reservations or you can try to do a walk-in. It's uh, definitely Definitely a fun way to spend a little time getting some cuddles. Very nice. And it's relaxing and you're helping kittens find homes.